Now, the effects of Lehman's collapse and the start of the global financial crisis, of course, could be felt and still are felt around the globe. Banks in the United Kingdom, for instance, have undergone a period of deep rehabilitation. CCTV's Richard Bestick has more from London. On that fateful day five years ago, the British economy imploded. UK gross domestic product, the measure of everything we make and sell, fell 7.2% from peak to trough, almost twice as deep as the US. The collapse of Lehman's delivered an earth-shaking hammer blow to the city here and to the wider UK economy. Indeed, the British economy hasn't yet recovered fully. The question then fundamentally remains, have the lessons been learned? Post Lehman, lenders here in the UK are subject to tighter regulation and are required to hold more capital. Capital cushions uh, and the buffers that have been imposed by various regulatory authorities should pr provide some degree of comfort. Capital ratios have increased, the leverage ratios have gone down and probably a lot of, uh, particularly over here in Europe, uh, a lot of the bad assets um, have in part been written off. There are areas of weakness and particularly weaker banks in uh, Europe um, need some surgery. Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, says today economic indicators are good and the sale of bailed out banks is underway. But GDP is still 2.7% below its pre-recession peak, according to the UK's Institute of Economic Research. So from this side of the Atlantic then, a long march before Britain's out of the mess triggered by the Lehman collapse. Oh, and the general opinion of bankers here? Not too high. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.